We see Kansas going back in that 1 3 1 zone. Start off the second half. They'll have to keep their eye on Willoughby here. He cuts to the opposite side, looking to pick up a screen. Beautiful feed. And Cato puts the Cyclones ahead by one. You know, there is an assist to Holloway without question, okay? A physical assist. But there should be a mental assist to Willoughby. Kansas was so concerned with him cutting to the other side that they gave up everything inside, and Holloway noticed it and threaded it perfectly. Great way to start the second half. Foul called on Pollard. Trying to position inside. His first. So we'll see the play right here. See, Kansas is so concentrating on where Willoughby's going. LaFrance was watching him all the way out to the corner. Left his uh, area of the zone totally vacant. Good put in by Cato. And they get out of the zone. One time down the floor to show zone. Right back to man to man. Here said, no, you're not going to do that to me again. But again, I, I don't understand how people play Iowa State. I think you want to force Holloway to put the ball on the floor and make him make shots. Don't guard Pratt unless he's down on the inside. Stay all over Willoughby. I don't know where their points come otherwise. But a lot of teams, Jim, do not like to get away from what their philosophy is on a year-to-year -year basis. Some coaches will say and use specific defenses for certain teams. There's the Prince gives them the lead. 30-29, Kansas. The Jim Valvano style of coaching would work well against this Iowa State team, or the Al McGuire style, and they would change specifically for one game to stop one team. Roy Williams is more like the Dean Smith style, where he's going to use his theory no matter what he's going up against. And that's a basket by Pratt, plus one. And as I said, the only place Pratt's going to hurt you is within four feet of the basket, and there's no double teaming down there on him. Second foul called on Pierce Pratt with 11 on the game. See, he's down so low to the basket that at six foot four, and the great footwork, he just gets the shots off. Oh, oh. Boy, was, uh, and gets a rebound. Was really ugly though, and rebounded by LaFrance. That was wide left. Tim Floyd wanted his team on that foul line again. And surprisingly, in the first half, another unusual stat. Kansas actually went to the line more did, than Iowa State did. Vaughn says, I'll take the three. Perfect. Seven for Vaughn. Willoughby quickly, though, answers at the other end. Big mistake by Kansas. Vaughn spinning free, driving, blocked by Cato. Holloway has it. Iowa State looking for a... Fast break, basket, and Bankhead travel. But don't you get the feeling that Kansas can run that kind of a break all day long? Iowa State doesn't want to. And here they come again. Charge, charge all the way. Cato drew it. I don't know why Roy Williams is upset. Pierce committed himself 18 feet from the basket. Uh, Roy doesn't want to get a technical foul. We saw some here yesterday that changed the course of the game. Missouri and Roy Williams better be careful. You're talking about 33-34 score. You get a technical and the ball. That looks like... Uh, Pink Nichols in our basketball seminar explaining the draw chart. <laughs> and Pratt banks it home. Holloway reaching in. They call him for a foul or just what? It's yeah, a foul. Yeah. I don't know why he challenged uh, Vaughn that far away from the basket. Billy, the West bracket, uh, or the West sites, I should say, Albuquerque and Tempe, with the regional being in Denver. And a lot of people like to place Kansas out west. What do you think? I think you'll see Arizona there. Good play by Willoughby. Smart play. Willoughby just goes reaching right in. All ball. Yeah, he really anticipated the play. Are you going to say Arizona and Tempe? Yeah. But not the number one seed. No. Stay. Let me clarify that. 
Kansas has not been west in the tournament since 1978. That shot partially blocked, I believe, at release. Cato steps inside. I think Cato should have put that one straight up, gone to the foul line. Sometimes try to draw the foul, even when you, if you're in that tight, as opposed to getting off the clean shot. E.J. Williams in. Pollard to the bench. 36-33, Iowa State. Jim, in the game at Kansas this year, in the second half, Kansas had a 15-0 run. Broke open a tight yeah, one there. You don't see any sign that that's going to happen today, the way Iowa State's playing. Pierce, able to free himself, got a help, little help with a screen. Iowa State having won by two over Nebraska, by four over Missouri. Controversial game. Pierce and Chaucey Phillips, co uh, freshman of the year in the league. Phillips from Colorado, outstanding guard. A little bit short, but underneath Pratt. Oh, he's, he's amazing. amazing. He is. Amazing at 6 4. Hey, you, do you like the Dantley comparison? No, I think Dantley. Adrian was a much bigger player. You know, Adrian was 6 5, 6, almost 6 6. And much Dan more talented. But this yeah, guy but I just meant the way he works inside. Oh, yeah. I mean, for undersized. <laughs> Can't compare him quite yet to, a, to an NBA All Star. Oh, no, no. Bankhead. Oh, he had a chance inside. Pierce was on him. I'll tell you, the pace of this game now is starting to go Kansas' way. I realize that they haven't been able to take advantage of it score wise, but they're going to wear this team down running this hard. Williams just too open. Pass. And a foul this time called on Pratt. Tato asking to come out right now. He's tired. Will it be going on the inside? There is Pratt again. Finds a way. To be a look, competitor. You just look at Pratt, you can't imagine that he can compete inside. Nope. Went to two different junior colleges after an outstanding career, high school career in Chicago. Pass will shoot two. You know, this is uh, what Tim Floyd has done is, uh, is very much like Nolan Richardson down at, at uh, Arkansas. I mean, to take over 10 new players. It's kind of interesting. People talked to, to Tim Floyd about the fact that having all these new players, he said, hey, for my staff, I came to Iowa State. It was 12 new players last year because we hadn't worked at all with them, but they lost 95% of their scoring and 96% of their rebounding. The likes of Hoiberg and Meyer and Mikulik. Four. We have 15 minutes and change remaining on Selection Sunday. And there's uh, Dedrick Willoughby, the score for Iowa State, 15 today. Robertson will take his time on Holloway. That puts uh, Vaughn over here on Willoughby. Will be looking to get some screens on the baseline to get off that jumper. Now here's a clear out for Pratt. I saw this a lot against Missouri. Oh, I really love the play. It's a terrific offensive structure when you've got a young man that can post up like he can. Most of the time you see a clear out for a guy that's a like a Ray Allen type. Four on the shot clock. Has to get real. Look at this. Got it. Yes. Got it. I can see it all the way. Boy, Jim, there was no doubt about it, was there? Dedrick Willoughby, just a dead-eye three from about 30 feet. That was about eight feet past the line. Terrific jump shot. Last raised the fingertips of an Iowa State player. I could just see it the minute it left his hands. Yep. Billy had a chance. Well, farther, that's 10 feet beyond the line. 30 feet? Yeah. <laughs> You're all over it, Jim. I'll send you to math school. Yeah. Hey, we're talking about a team picked to finish eighth in this league preseason against the team picked to finish first. And here they are battling their hearts out for the championship. Iowa Terrific story. It really is. Iowa State leading by four. 
Pierce. He'll take it. Right over Bankhead. Cato had the position underneath. And that rest Cato got yesterday, I think, is really going to help this ball club. He's fresh on the glass. Tim Floyd working that sideline over there, Jim. He and Norm Stewart really went after each other yesterday, didn't they? That was almost a game within itself. Inside Bankhead banks it home. Six point lead, Iowa State's largest. You see some doubt in Kansas's eyes, don't you? Yeah, Pierce is uh, a little upset about that. As I said, Iowa State last year got to the final game against Oklahoma State to be denied by Eddie Sutton's club. They're back into the box in one now. Here, short on a three. Crap rebound. No hurry. Leading by six. Well, now they find an open man. Bank head. A lot of golden goaltending. Basket interference. Roy Williams may have to go for a timeout here just to get his club settled down. Yeah, he's going for a 20 second. Did you see anything there that looked like no, uh, goaltending? No, it sure didn't. What is uh, at risk here for Kansas, Billy? Uh, number one seed. You think so? Purdue, Iowa yesterday. Let's see this play here. He never touched that ball. Now, official could have got, been blocked out, but I don't think LaFrance ever touched it. Let's see. Now, see, from that angle, it looks like he did. From the other angle, I don't believe he ever got his hands on the ball. And you can tell by his reaction, he doesn't know what they're talking about. Let me ask you that again. If Kansas loses here, you do think they lose a number one seed? I do. I do. I don't. But, right. you know, I don't know. But who would, who would take the Purdue. one seed? Purdue? Yeah, they lost at Iowa. A tough game on the road yesterday. Here you have Kansas playing a neutral site, but basically a home site for them. State's options here, win or lose. You know they're in. I think they could be like a four seed if they would pull off the upset here. And there's a steal by Iowa State. What a flurry this is now for the Cyclones. Well, how did they get here? They earned it. You know, nobody voted these guys anything. The France, good piece of rebounding right there. Jim, a lot of time in this game. Let's see if Kansas goes back, instead of panicking here, goes back to the high-low game and start using their inside power. Now, they're not doing that. Really a sense of panic here by Kansas offensively. Not like a, a Roy Williams coach team. Pratt likes to play against tall, thin guys. He's got Williams on him now. There he is. Time. Beautiful pass. Cato had it stripped though by Vaughn. Near the conclusion of this game, we'll be selecting a genuine Chevrolet most valuable player of the game from each team. Cato about to go up with it. Vaughn fouled him. Actually, it was on Williams, his second. 45 37. 12 minutes remaining and five. Wholesale changes coming in for Kansas. They bring in Pearson, Haas, Pollard, Rayford, and T.J. Hughes. Jim, one thing I'll point out also, and you, when you get in championship games like this, guys, you talk about a lack of stamina, but you can get so emotionally high that you just don't even feel being tired. And that's what I think is happening to this uh, Iowa State bunch right now. Kansas is going to try to go ahead one more time to hit them with shock troops. But you don't sense that these kids are tired. Willoughby, three-pointer. Well, he can shoot. You're almost expecting to go in. Pollard took a nasty fall, and it's off Kansas. Uh, Cato drove Pollard right out of bounds. That should have been a foul. There is a timeout on the floor. Official timeout. CBS Sports coverage of the Big 8 Championship will continue after this message. And a word from your local station. You got the winning cutter. And 
165,000 miles in my car, and I use it to commute down into the city. I love my car. My car is my baby, and I trust Pennzoil. With its revolutionary Pennstar molecule, Pennzoil clings to moving parts, works like liquid ball bearings. I'm a doctoral grad student in psychology. I change my oil about every 3,000 miles, but of course, the oil really has to want to change. It's showtime, baby! Net four bucks on a case of Pennzoil or 33 cents on every quart! This is CBS. Things are changing, like the way we call Collect. Now, instead of zero, millions of people are dialing 1-800-COLLECT to save on Collect calls. Millions of people saving millions of dollars. Hey, change is a good thing. Anytime, any phone, anywhere. 1-800-COLLECT. It's the way we call Collect today. People want variety, so corporates come up with the burger of the month. We take our own oh. burger and put it in this pretty little box. But isn't that the same burger? Uh. You're not listening. At Sonic, you'll always find something deliciously different. Like our chicken sandwich, your choice of breaded or grilled. Right now with fries, it's just $2.79. So break away from the ordinary and drive into something different. Sonic driving for a change. Our name says it all. University Medical Center, Harvard, Temple, Yale, UT, Virginia, USC, Louisville, Tufts, Vanderbilt, Texas Tech, UCLA, Johns Hopkins. Our doctors are trained at the foremost medical schools in the country. Call 449-UMC1. Why go anywhere else? University Medical Center, Lebanon. When you want the whole story, watch the top story on News Channel 5. All right, you can set your watch to it. Four hours until the NCAA selection show. Jim Nance, Billy Packer, and uh, your argument now of Kansas, should it lose here, missing out on a number one seed in hey, Purdue the, getting the it. Tell me about this hey, wait, a little Jim, bit more. The chairman <laughs> said they hadn't made all the decisions. Have to wait till some games in. I have to give some credence to what the man says. He's the boss. Now, why wouldn't you wait till this game ends? Uh, otherwise, you'd already have Kansas the number one. Well, it didn't necessarily mean it was this game. Well, I'm going to have, gonna have, have the to. Big West, the SEC, the ACC finals. I want you to be wrong one time on the brackets. That's all. <laughs> Pratt hit the floor, committed the foul. I tell you, Bob Frederick did say something I thought very telling in that halftime interview. And that was. When it was discussed about UConn or UMass in the East, which one gets the East? And I kind of sense from that that they traveled before. That UConn, having traveled west last year, might be in the East, and the UMass might move. Let's see if this five can get some high-low action going in the post. That's what Kansas has not done today very well. Rayford inside, side, bounce pass. Cato says, oh no, and a tie-up. They call it a jump ball arrow belongs to Kansas. Yeah. Cato with another excellent block. Good timing on his part. Little reach over. It's his third on the day. He's had five in the opening round of this tournament. This is uh, one Cato, I guess you could say, who's in the right place at the right time. That's weak. One second on the shot clock. Thanks for your support. <laughs> One second. It's the second time we've had this situation today. You know, Jim, it's kind of interesting in this league. Not since 92 has the number one seeded team won this tournament. One second. Pollard, just it. as you diagram it. The only way. Beautiful. And that might be uh, the boost that Kansas needs here after a lackluster stretch. Well, one of the things that happens with this team, the ball gets in Willoughby's hands or Holloway's hands, and it just calms down the entire club. Okay, clear out again. Pratt, two players on him. He still always gets that shot off, and more often than not, finds himself marching to the free throw line. Here we see the move. Look at who set the screen. The smallest man on the floor. 
Rayford goes down underneath, sets the big screen, allows Pollard to have the perfect touch shot. Of course, Pollard going up like, a, like an old uh, volleyball player that he is, you know, mm -hmm. looking for the spike at the net. And that's what he did right there for two. Pratt, back of the rim, Blues. Pratt and Willoughby have gone to the line this year and combined going into this ball game 433 times. That's amazing, isn't it? That is, that is a bunch. And that's one of the reasons why this team has had such a successful season. See, they're not, what you have there is Kato's not guarding anybody. There's Pearson with another solid looking shot from the outside. You take today and yesterday, that senior has come off the bench and hit three out of three from three point land. 46 42 Cyclones. Haas given Willoughby the right hand side of the floor. Not letting him go left. That's unusual for a right handed shooter. Holloway. Not this time. Pearson underneath. He'd rather pass it than shoot it. Saved by Pugh. Freshman on the baseline. Charge. And that's the second great charge situation that Cato has pulled. Here you see Pugh going in, Cato waiting on him. He did that with Pierce, so the two freshmen charge right into him. Five subs for Kansas. This time LaFrance, Vaughn, Robertson, Pierce, and Williams come in. You're trying to see Roy Williams change momentum, regain focus on the part of his starters. And he goes over and talks to Pearson. I, you know, that's a great coaching move right there, isn't it? Talking to that senior that he can sense is ready to really do some big things in the tournament to come. Yep, knows he's going to be a key player for them come next week. That's what always happens. You know, Jim, in an NCAA tournament is some guy steps up that really hadn't done it before. Harold Jensen from oh, Villanova. Yeah. Remember, you can go back through the years. That's what's so exciting about it. The uncertainty of who is that going to be. Brad put it up that time off the back of the rim. And Iowa State's missed its last six from the field. They stay man. Pratt not guarding the Kansas man at the top of the key. Off Pratt did a good job of knocking out of bounds. Kentucky and Mississippi State are next with the SEC final. You know, Jim. We all talk about Kentucky and, and how they've been blowing everybody away, but quietly, Mississippi State, a team that last year we talked about having a ch chance maybe to be Final Four, returning most of their players this year, but a very poor December and January, now starting to play solid. Look at Holloway come in and get a tie-up situation and get Iowa State the ball because they had the arrow. You know what's interesting? You have Roy Williams substituting in fives. You have Tim Floyd substituting in seconds. He has, you know, he takes a Holloway out for 30 seconds. Pratt has to come out for a minute. Just no bench. No bench. But also Roy Williams not falling far from that uh, North Carolina upbringing with the five subs, right? Yep. Who will ever forget the Michigan-North Carolina game with five guys were out on that floor in a key situation that it really did never anticipate. 8.20 remaining in this one. Cato. A lot of players around him. Kansas converged to take it away. Doesn't really have the great hands to handle it in traffic like that. They're really looking to go inside now. Cato playing a one-man zone down inside. See, he doesn't even go out on Kansas big man. And the rebound lands in the hands of the Cyclones. Jump shot. Done it before. Made it, but not that time. That pull-up three by Willoughby. Pierce should have had that one. Probably should have, but when you think about it, Jim, you're down four. Not really the play to make if you're Robertson. You know, where was Pierce going to go with it if he caught it? 
stuck on this score for a while. 46-42, Iowa State with 7.23 to go in the game. Tim Floyd would love to have Pratt on the floor right now to be that secondary scorer. Three-minute dry spell for both teams. Willoughby turned it over. See, without that second score, there was no place to go but Willoughby. That hurt Iowa State. Just a turnover, not a foul, but Iowa State still leads. If you let me play. If you let me play sports. I will like myself more. I'll have more self-confidence. If you let me play sports. If you let me play. If you let me play. I'll be 60% less likely to get breast cancer. I will suffer less depression. If you let me play sports. I will be more likely to leave a man who beats me. If you let me play. I'll be less likely to get pregnant before I want to. I will learn. I will learn what it means to be strong. To be strong. If you let me play. Play sports. If you let me play sports. On one side, you've got the Atlantic. On the other, the Pacific. And in between, the wide open spaces of the Chevy S-Series. Pack your bags. Chevy trucks like a rock. For the most part, People look to their cars as a way to get where they're going. And if your car doesn't perform, well, you could end up somewhere you don't want to be. We don't want that. That's why, for nearly 80 years, people from far and wide have counted on Phillips to get them on their way. Mile after mile, year after year. For all the miles to come, Phillips 66, the performance company. get any worse than this. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down. Huh. I stand corrected. Make it a Bud Light. You're never gonna get it open. <laughs> Back at Kemper Arena where Iowa State leads Kansas 46-42. Seven minutes, nine seconds remaining. Jim Nance, Billy Packer, courtside. We'll be heading over to the Hyatt here in Kansas City where the NCAA Selection Committee gathers. Got here on Thursday and we'll have the live exclusive announcement. The first announcement tonight here on CBS. Jim, they were kidding Tim Floyd in the press conference, post game press conference yesterday about the fact that they only scored 50 when they played Kansas last time. He said, well, I guess our goal will then to hold them to 49. He's not too far no, from that not, target. Is it? There's that high low again, but Cato's playing a one man zone in the paint, not guarding Williams, so that makes it tough to get it down to LaFrance. Oh, what a huge three that is. Freshman Paul Pierce. Roy Williams loved that one. Makes it a one point game. Iowa State by one. That's out in the game now, so two scores on the floor. Iowa State led by as many as eight. Oh, he didn't want to give up his dribble down in that corner. Dangerous. Four on the shot clock. Look at Fawn and Holloway go after it. Never, never touched the rim.